last night um, I got here and uh, Jma walked in like a fucking thief. He opened the door, smashed it, I was like, what the fuck? And then he walked in, as usual. Whenever he comes in the door without me, he's always off his fucking head. <laughs> so he came in off his fucking head and we just chill around. We walked around the city. Um, nothing too much last night because it was really late. But today, we're going to explore Cancun. Uh, apparently there's, um, there's a few touristy places that we want to go to. But today, man... Uh, since it's already 11, I we went to sleep at like 4 last night, we're just gonna chill by the pool, have a look at some, um, sightseeing tours that we might do in the next few days. And also get off a fucking minute. <laughs> now outside of the hotel we're gonna try to catch a bus oh is that the bus yes bus to the city and um buy shorts r1 r1 yeah, one. oh wait that's that's r1 let's stop let's stop let's stop oh you gotta go forward no oh uh oh we heard something in the lake just then and apparently this fucking crocodiles like not even joking oh bus there's a bus alright <laughs> So, what up? <laughs> we're in the market area again, trying to find shorts. It's actually harder than we thought. It looks very colorful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's this one? $22. Peso? $400. Okay, $400? $400. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Four hundred. Twenty dollars. Twenty two. Peso. Twenty two. Peso. Eighteen pesos. What about four hundred? Five hundred. Five hundred. A man with the peso. How much? Four hundred. Four hundred eighteen. Eighteen? Really? Yes. Really? Ah. Oh. That's like one dollar. It's okay. He's made the purchase. Thank you. Purchasing stuff in the coon. Gracias. Hey. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, got some shorts. I am fully beach ready. Guys, just enjoying some lunch today. Um, probably having the best tacos I've ever had. That's because I'm in Mexico. Look, this shit is amazing. And then, since I got the shorts, we're gonna hit the beach later on. Gotta enjoy this weather, man. <laughs> Headed to the beach. It's gonna be a lovely day. I haven't been on the beach for like forever. Super looking forward to it. Wow, this beach looks nice. Since this beach looks so amazing, time for some cinematics. Uh. Uh. I love it though. I love it though. <laughs> you know. Uh. Put your hands to the constellations. The way you look should be. Dude, 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 dude. 
Did someone just shit on you? A bird just fucking shat on me. <laughs> <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> oh my god, is he on the wrong? Is it fucking huge? It's, wait, the other way. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go in the water real quick. Fuck <laughs> it. Oh, oh this, my god, that's, 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 that's actually funny. funny. That's actually funny. Alright, gonna get. I'm gonna get into the ocean. Enjoy it. Bye for now. Alright, we just got out of the beach. It was pretty fun. The water was pretty cold actually, but apart from that, we're a bit tired. Gonna get some lunch, I reckon. Let's get them tacos. Tacos and burritos. And quesadilla and taco and burrito. Oh, dude, 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 dude. You know what I'm looking for? Whoa. Come on, you know what it is. The dab. <laughs> where, where in Mexico? You haven't dabbed it yet. Come on. Come on. Uh, Come on. There's too many people. Dude, who gives a there's, fuck? There's too many. You're in cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you get nervous in front of yeah, the camera? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me clean you. Alright. Yeah, instead of the charro. No, I want a charro. We found a place. I have no idea what the name is. It's called Me Mex Dream Restaurant Cantina. All right. Tell us, the viewers, what we just ordered. All right, we got a big Mexican grill and complimentary soup. And then I got uh, what's it, what's that beer called? Lager. XX Lager. XXO Lager. Um, Mexican beer. You can try it out. No way. No. You can't do that. <laughs> Don't drop it on me. You can take it, dude. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, oh man. No. You got skills, man. You got skills. <laughs> oh, boy. What do we got here? Woo! The best Mexican grape. Thank you. Enjoy your meal, amigos. Thank you. All right, tell us what's in there, bro. All right, so we got a bit of guac, a bit of salsa here, some spuds, some tortillas. I think that's chicken, maybe some sausage here. Uh, some, what is this? Some peppers. Peppers? And yeah. Here comes a uh, thorough review. Oh, so it was fucking filling. Even though it was two people, we couldn't really finish it. Um, I probably had a bit too many tortilla chips, and uh, I actually ate the potato as well. The meat was all right. Tell them about the chili. Tell them about the chili. This thing's pretty fucked. I don't know what it is, but it's a bit fucked. I fucking cried. I thought that was like a different shit, so I ate the whole thing. And I was fucking burning, man. Anyway, now we're headed back to the hotel. We're gonna chill around the pool. And uh, yeah, drink some beers. That's it. It's around 6.30. We've been doing nothing, just chilling in the hotel. However, we want to go to the beach right now because it's like the perfect temperature. We're back to the pool. Oh my God. So like humid. I'm gonna wipe this shit. Hello, hello, hello. Here we go. We're fine, we're chilling. Uh. Uh. Okay, I know what it feels like to be young and single. Oi. What has been your up and what has been your downs since being in Mexico? Cancun? My up was probably the beach and swimming in the ocean. My down was also being in the beach and swimming in the ocean, but almost <laughs> fucking dying. All right, you actually got me, you got to tell a story to the viewers. 
Fuck. Story time? Yeah. About what? About, like, give me the whole thing about your uh, close encounter with Jesus. I was staying at a hostel for the first night. And okay. me and a few of the people decided to go to the beach. Uh, had a couple Coronas. How many? By that stage, probably like five or six or something, I don't know. Alright. So Not too crazy, but still. It wasn't crazy, but I was feeling a bit confident. The waves here, are, it was a bit choppy. Um, I just kept going out, kept going out. I was having a good time. <laughs> probably about 20 minutes later, I turned around and I realised I couldn't see the shore anymore. <laughs> and I got caught in a rip. So, when you were caught in the rip, were you, did you try to swing it back? Yes. And then, what happened? I kept going further back. <laughs> so, who saved you? A couple of Mexicans. And they knew that you were fucked up before you, the, my, like... The other people on the shore told me that before I was, like, seriously struggling, when I was still going out, they were ready. They Yo, knew that I was going to be mate, fucked. Mexicans got your back. They got my back. What have you learned from this lesson? I mean, you also got to think about that you did drink, mm -hmm. so it gave you confidence. What would you say about your swimming ability? It's definitely not the best, but I mean, once again, a bit of confidence doesn't sometimes works against you. Mate, we nearly lost you, eh? Never. 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 So, um, on another note, what have you learned from this time? Mm. About drinking and just about, you know, health and safety? I've learned that everyone's going to die someday, you might as well be today. Kids. That's not the right lesson. We got back from dinner. We didn't go out because um, we have to wake up real early tomorrow at around like seven. We have this whole plan and this whole adventure that we plan to do. So stay tuned for that. But for now, thanks for watching.